Hello, welcome back to the NASDAQ studios. I'm your host, Maddie DeWalt, and I'm greeted with Christian Schaff, who is the founder and CEO of Uncharted Supply Co. We're gonna talk a little bit today about his journey, the origin story of Uncharted, and where you guys are now, and the scene in Utah. So let's discuss. Tell me first about you and how Uncharted Supply Co. came to be. Yeah, well, um, I grew up on a farm in Wisconsin. Um, I've been to Iraq 40 times. I was a musician, which turned into playing shows for the troops, which turned into solving problems they were having, getting bands to really small bases, like forward operating bases. So make a long story short, wow. we played 150 shows in Iraq. I probably led another, you know, 50 different groups around at different times for a couple of weeks, the Pussycat Dolls and the Spin Doctors and, and guys oh like that. God. And um, and when I was home, I was, um, I was you know, doing all things outside, climbing mountains, hunting. Um, I was always kind of a marketing guy. I helped start a company called Crispin Cider, which was acquired by Miller Coors. So I was employee number one there and learned a lot there, was doing brand work and um, ended up, you know, as the, as the war draw drew down, I, I moved to California to take a job and um, was going skiing one weekend in Colorado. I was driving out and it snowed two inches and I sat in traffic for eight hours. And, you know, my whole life, two inches of snow is nothing, right? And I'm sitting there going, wow, if, if two inches of snow can cause this much chaos, given all the political unrest and the overpopulation and everything going on, like, what do people do when something real happens? So it took me down a wormhole and uh, started thinking about products and, and how to equip people. You know, today we say we build products to make people the hero of their own story. So whatever that is, right? And um, we started with, a, with just kind of general 72-hour survival kits, and that kind of started rolling and today we're, we're here in Utah in Park City and we have about you know we have several dozen products that we offer everything from battery jump starters for your car to inflatable pack rafts to survival kits to hip packs to first aid kits dog products um, and we're just trying to make the world a safer place and, and encourage people to get out and experience nature and, and really kind of live their best life but also make sure they get home at night. Wow. So that's okay. where we are. That's incredible I feel like you were the most interesting man for <laughs> sure. Um, well so it's everything adventure, essentially. Yeah, you know, I think where we started was really preparedness. There's mm -hmm. a stigma around that. People think of, you know, John Goodman in 10 Cloverfield Lane where he's got a bunker and he's just waiting for the zombies or the aliens <laughs> or whatever. And, sure. um, you know, that's, that's not a very good message today. But I think, I think people realize there are dangers out there. COVID showed us things can change really quickly. Certainly. And my goal has always been to, to create not only high quality products, but to provide an organization and instruction and guidance. All of our stuff's color coordinated with, you know, screen printed instructions. So when something happens and you're in uncharted territory, kind of where the name came from, we give you a path and we let you kind of figure it out and make your situation better. So yeah, there's, there's a lot of adventure, right? We build 130 gram first aid kits for if you're, if you're hunting in the back country or skiing, um, all the way to four person survival kits that we have a collab with Yeti and we have a big box that we build stuff from. So we try to cover the gamut. You never know when something's going to happen. And, um, we're trying to make sure we have products available for any of those times. What do you feel is Uncharted's X factor? Um, you know, I think, <laughs> What's been really interesting is when I started, uh, the, the part of the story I didn't tell you earlier is, you know, when people thought about survival kits, they thought about military surplus stores and probably a dusty backpack in some back corner. And, you know, those were bad products. Uh, they were not only not quality gear, there was no thought to them. I, I bought one once because I, I bought a lot of them to see what was in them. Yeah. One had a blow dart gun with three darts, you know, and I don't know if squirrels are attacking or what the use case is there. <laughs> but, um, you know, what right, we really sorry. did is I went to, to friends of mine, you know, special forces guys and doctors and bush pilots and you know, friends of mine that got on Everest and I kind of said the same thing to all of them, like, you're an expert, I don't want to know what you have for you, but let's say you had a 10 year old son home alone and something happened, what would you give them to make sure that they could navigate a situation and prove it, you know, so something that's not too complicated, but something that's really effective. And I think almost like Apple, you know, Tim Cook's talking in the background right now, um, you know, when the iPod came out, it's just that one quick click wheel. I, I had MP3 players before that with 40 buttons on it. And um, simplicity, especially simplicity in the time of emergency when adrenaline's pumping, yeah. is really critical to getting the outcome you want. So I think for us, it's always not just been the high quality gear, but it's a, it's a complete package. I've, I've got a Navy SEAL friend that told me, you know, you've, you've pre-solved most emergencies in the world with this kit. If people just follow the instructions, they're halfway home. And I think that's where we differentiate. 
That's incredible. And you're part of a, a pretty incredible scene here in um, in Utah and Park City in particular. How has how have you seen Uncharted kind of take part in this? And, and how do you think Utah, what makes Utah so special? Well, you know, personally, I, I just always wanted to live in a ski town. <clears throat> so, sure. you know, I've learned a lot since I've been here, but I was in California when we started. I did not want to stay in California. It, <laughs> being from Wisconsin, it, it, I felt alien there. Sure. Uh, I the wanted, panic of the snow, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it just it, it just was a different type of human, you know, sure. just different experiences. And, um, you know, Park City, what drew me here first was there's an airport nearby. I was still going to Iraq a lot. You know, we had a university nearby for hiring. There's a big city, but at the same time, you know, there's elk in my front yard when I wake up in the morning, and I was really trying to get more in touch with nature. I, I'm really a big believer in authenticity and, and living who you are and being honest about who you are in life. And so I really try to spend a lot of time with our products and, and in extreme situations where uh, I learn what people need and I learn what works and what doesn't work. Um, you know, there's a, there's a great investment community here. There's things like Silicon Slopes. Um, I've just found this to be everything I need to build the company I want mm -hmm. and not have to compromise by living somewhere I don't want to live. And I think that's the beauty of, really, of Utah and, and what we're doing here. I mean, I, people tell me all the time, like, you look like you're on vacation all the time. And I'm like, I haven't taken a vacation literally in two and a half <laughs> years. But I, I can be in the mountains before work and after work. And yeah. I mean, I've seen moose walk by from my desk on the mountain in front of the windows. And it's, it's a dream. It's special. Yeah, yeah it's Absolutely. really cool. Well, one final question for you. How has, I mean, you've had this life of adventure and, and all of these different experiences. How does that inform your company now and, and what you're building with Uncharted? Yeah, I mean, I have to be careful not to build the company that solves all of my personal needs. <laughs> sure. But um, it, it, it informs it massively. I think there's a lot of competitors that have come into the space since we've started. A lot of people that are copying kind of at a surface level what we do. But if you don't really understand the why, there's, there's gaps in what they're doing. And I think with us, there's a lot of authenticity because we're taking these things out and we are testing them and we are using them. And we know exactly, oh, we, we solved for all this and all of this, but we have to figure this out. And now we have a complete process. So it's kind of, you know, it's, it's I don't want to say a knockoff thing, but if somebody knocks off a pair of Air Jordans, they don't play the same, right? You can ask Dwayne Wade that was here, like, <laughs> there's a difference in the material and the sole and the way it's stitched and the way the ankles support it. It's kind of the same thing with us. Like, things may look the same, but we've really spent time to make this stuff uh, really effective and just find all the holes and fill them and, and make products that, you know, I tell people, if, if I'm going to tell you it's going to save your life, it, it's got to save your life. I, I'm putting my name behind that. So um, that's our goal, and that's, that's a big part of it. Wow. Well, it's been incredible having you here. Thank Thanks. you so much for joining yeah. me. You bet. Um, this has been the NASDAQ Studios live in Silicon Slopes.